Hi, I'm Phil Rafey, the old video guy, and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about why I bought the iPhone 13 Pro Max. I traded my 12 Pro Max in for the 13 Pro Max. Now the 12 Pro Max is a great phone, has great optics, it's a good camera. However, I don't buy phones for their newest and greatest bells and whistles, although this has plenty of them, and there are plenty of places on YouTube that will go into all the details of the 13 Pro Max. I got this for the cinema mode. You know, that mode where you can get some nice soft bokeh, uh, something that we've all been looking for for a long time in an iPhone. And though it's not perfect, Though it's only 1080p, 30 frames, I'm going to be happy with that because I'm going to be shooting more video with an iPhone. And this seemed perfect because actually, um, I'm going to shoot my first short film. And that's why I got this camera. So I went out on location. I spent a little time before I started shooting. And... Um, uh, I spent time demonstrating how you can shoot, change the parameters on the fly, the focal points, and that sort of thing. And then after you've shot in the camera, you can do some more editing. So it's just a really, really serious program in here. So join me out on, uh, on location as I demonstrate the new cinema mode and start my first short film. So here I am at Higgs Mill in Dalton, Georgia with the lake behind me and I have picked a gorgeous day to take a hike. But by no means is this a good day to shoot a film. The sun is high in the sky, no cloud cover, no trees, wind coming off the lake, but hey, we can't always choose the times that we want to film. So before I hike down and find our first spot to shoot, um, I want to talk about the cinematic lens and why I got it. However, let me get Trish and LaRue in here and I want to demonstrate this cinematic lens. All right, so this is my wife Trish and our friend LaRue. And we're going to demonstrate, they're going to demonstrate for you the, how this cinematic mode does so many things automatically in changing the depth of field. So Trish is going to turn and look at LaRue and the camera picks up LaRue and she's clear and um, the shallow depth of field has Trish just a little blurred out. Now Trish is going to look back. The camera is now going to pick up Trish again and LaRue has that nice soft bokeh to her. Now LaRue's going to step out. Trish is going to turn and look at the lake. Well, it doesn't see another human being back there so I have to touch the screen and Trish goes to that soft bokeh look and it focuses in across the lake. Now when Trish looks back, it comes back to Trish again. And that's being able to do things on the fly. As you can see, all I have to touch is across the, uh, the lake there, touch Trish's face again, and she comes back into focus. Now here is where the power and the flexibility of the iPhone 13 with the cinematic mode really shines. After you've shot a scene, you can further edit in the camera. Not only can you edit the cropping, filters, and exposure, but you can now manipulate the f-stop or the depth of field and the focal points. This is what the camera was seeing when we were shooting. You can see how it was controlling the focal point back and forth between the faces. Let's say I realized that when LaRue waved, I left her soft uh, in the background. But I wanted to bring her out, and, and that's an easy fix. So I find where she starts to wave, and I just tap on her face. Then I tap on Trish's face when LaRue stops waving and brings the focal point back to Trish. Now, this is a shot where I was demonstrating on how you can edit on the fly. Just by tapping on the screen, you can control where the focus will be. Now, in this shot, Trish is in focus, but I want to change the focal length behind her. Once again, just tap on the f-stop in the upper left-hand corner, and a control bar will show up on the right. You can just slide it up and down to the different f-stops, until you're satisfied with the look you want. 
And at any time, I can tap on a keyframe and just delete it. It's just that simple. Now let's go shoot a movie. I actually started this short film last weekend, but ran into some difficulties. Um, this is where the first scene is, and I'm going to keep that one, but I just wanted to show you where it was. This is where I started out. And then I did an over the shoulder down on my leg to show the envelope, which you'll find out more about later. And then I did a low shot on the ground from the envelope up while I walked out toward that tree. That part looks good, except there's some things I did that you really shouldn't do. When I got to this tree and I started looking at myself coming in, as you can see, I had glasses on. They were off over there, then they were on here. That wasn't going to work, so we're going to reshoot this one today. And then there were many times that you could see my microphone, and other times you couldn't. I, I really don't want to have a microphone in the shot, so we're going to reshoot that. And my wife also, Trish, who's holding the, working the camera today with me, she pointed out, uh, you see that green bag on the, on the ground there? She told me that we could see that in the shot too. So we're going to reshoot most everything today except the beginning. And we're going to start right here. We've set up the iPhone 13 Pro Max right here. And once again, the reason why I'm using the Pro Max and why I got it is because of the cinematic mode. I've been able to focus right on this tree because I'm going to be walking up from down there and it'll be blurred in the background and then I'll walk into focus. So this is what it's going to look like. Without my glasses this time <laughs> and without the microphone. Thank you, sweetie. We just shot me walking away from the tree from behind, and this is going to be kind of a reversal of me walking toward the camera. Just kind of a quick shot. So let's see how it looks. Okay, no, that's fine, that's fine. We're going to wait for the people to get out of the way. Hi there. Hey there. From here on out, I'm going to be getting some establishing shots, like when I look out, what I'm looking at. I'm going to be getting some shots of me walking to the camera, walking away from the camera, some low shots, high shots, close-ups, and some other things like that. And um, So that, that's where I'm going from here. So I was talking about getting some B-roll. This is going to be some low shots on the feet. I have gone ahead and set my focal point to right here where Trish is very very soft. This is a shot where somebody's out there handing me an envelope then the next time I look they're gone so here we go we're gonna try this. So we're recording okay go ahead and show me the envelope okay that's the shot. It's been about two and a half weeks since that last clip. It took us a while because of all the different conditions, the, 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 the clouds, the sun, and trying to coordinate all that. And then, of course, there was all that rain and wind and one thing after another. So I brought you to our last location where we shot the last couple of, um, couple of scenes, and it's right behind me. Those are the uh, woods that are consequently actually across from my house. <laughs> so that made it a little bit convenient. Anyway, what I want to do is I want to take you into the woods here behind me and show you a couple of places where we shot our last scenes. 
So one of the scenes we shot was right here on this log. And I come walking out of the forest there, or the, the woods, and sit on that log. And then, from there, run right down this path down here, and started running. So I spent about a half hour today looking and looking and looking for that tree. It was the tree that we used for the last scene in the woods. You'll see here in our last clip what we used the tree for. I never did find that tree again, but you can see what tree I was talking about by following the link there on the card to my first short film called The Envelope. It's four minutes and 43 seconds, something like that, all shot on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. The iPhone 13 Pro Max in the cinema mode, and I had a lot of fun doing it. And if you have any constructive criticism, if you shot uh, short films before, I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear you know, some of the things you might say. And, and if you enjoy anything that you see here, if, if, uh, if you'd like to see more of it, please subscribe. Uh, hit all the bells and whistles and the likes and all that and the shares and stuff like that because, you know, I'm just an old guy who uh, is trying to build a YouTube channel. Um, maybe make this my retirement. You never know. But anyway, I'm Phil Rafey, the old video guy, and join me next time.